Hey babe, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Treasure. I am your mental health visionary guiding you on a journey to mental wellness. Well, we are doing a chit chat. Get ready with a new video today. I'm so excited for this video. I just want to sit down and talk to you guys and let you know about things coming up, how grateful I am in life right now, and what I see for myself moving forward for the last two months of the year. So if you are interested in today's video, then keep on watching. But don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you don't miss out on any videos. But without further ado, let's get into the video, babe. Okay, so let's just get right into it. First things first, I am filled with so much gratitude. Like I can't even explain how grateful I am for my family, my friends, like where I am in life and just like my headspace. I'm so grateful. And I had like a reflection moment um, the other day or really yesterday be because the other day, um, one of my friends posted a picture of me and what she said was just like so heartfelt and so heartwarming and it just made me feel seen and just like you know like she's paying attention and that just made me feel so good and then another one of my friends commented on that like post that I had reposted on my story and her response to it was just like again just made me feel like wow like my friends love me and adore me and are they just they just fill me up and that makes me feel so good if that wasn't good enough that that happened the other day yesterday three of th actually i want to say basically all of like my girlfriends um yesterday i i had sent like a you know the first of the month just like wanted to you know put positivity into the air and i sent sent my girlfriends a message just to let them know that you know i love them and appreciate them and to like wish them a good you know month of november and it's something that I'm trying to like really get into because I feel like it's so important to, you know, one, let your friends know that you're thinking about them. And two, that, you know, you're just putting like positivity into other people because you really never know like what someone is going through and you sending like a sweet message would to them that feels like out of nowhere can really lift them up and I feel like that's really important to me so um just like the responses that I got from the message I sent was just like so again heartfelt and so heartwarming and I was just like you know what yesterday my friends genuinely love me and I love that for me because I love them and I feel like they are giving me the same love that i give them back to me and you know it works really well in a friendship when you are pouring into your friends and then your friends are pouring back into you you don't ever feel like you're empty and i love that for us period you know so i'm just so grateful and so thankful that i feel like i am like finding my people and it just it just feels really good and i just wanted to share like it feels good to you know be grateful and just like have good life experiences um but yeah so a other thing that i wanted to talk to you guys about was the um series i've kind of been like hinting to you guys um i'm going in with these lashes from amazon i just ordered them i've never tried 
these ones before but they looked really pretty on like the um picture on the model so we're gonna try it and hopefully um they look cute on me and then i got this new um like the bond and seal i was using the kiss one but i saw this girl on tiktok say that she also used the kiss one and her lashes just didn't lash last like overnight which i agree when i use the um the kiss one i don't i i thought it was just me like i just must not have been applying them right or using it the the bond and seal correctly but she showed like a video of like what it was how it was when she used the um what do you call it the i'm drawing a blank the kiss bond and seal and then um this other brand that she tried called jimmery um oh can you guys see i don't know if that's focusing um and then this is what it looks like focus i hope that's focusing i can't tell the viewfinder but um so i wanted to try it and see if it works or how it works so we're gonna see right now but um Oh, and then I just used my little tweezer thing from Lashify um, because their tweezers are the best. No other brand. I don't care. Lashify's tweezers are the best. Anyways, um, like I was saying, I wanted to give a real introduction of what that was because I've been hinting at it, but I haven't really given like a full out introduction of really what it is and so i just wanted to do that so you guys know and then the first video can actually be it and i don't have to do like a introduction video per se which is what i had intended to do um also my mirror is right under the camera so when you see me look down i'm looking at the mirror um yeah but anyways so this series is going to be a more like actionable steps that you can take to really take care of your mental health because I feel like a lot of content that I have posted has been like personal stories or some of like what you can do or things you can look out for but I don't think that I've posted a lot of content on like how to actionably take care of your mental health and I feel like that's kind of the next step of what I should be doing and all of these things are like things that I have tried or have worked for me and then I'm also going to be like trying along with you guys some stuff but I feel like wow this glue is getting stuck to my eye at the bottom because I keep blinking it's strong that's for sure I'll have to clean it after but um sorry I get sidetracked I yeah so I feel like that's the next step for me of like showing how to take care of your mental health and I want to break it down into a like I'm thinking a video um, per like subject and then if it's like requested or if I feel like a video needs like a sub video then um, like a more in depth than what the first video was then I'll do that like for example I want to do like a self care video because self care is just important period but the way that you do self care when you're paying attention to your mental health I think it's a little bit different right now self-care is like a really big thing just like on social media and it's more focused around like oh make sure your nails are done make sure your eyelashes are done make sure your hair is done like all those things make you feel good and they do don't get me wrong but when you're doing self-care for your mental health those things are a bit different they would probably more be like working out, doing some yoga, stretching, reading a book, um, things like that, that are like mind stimulating or, you know, doing some like adult coloring book or painting, like those kind of things. 
that are um, less about like appearance and more about just stimulating your mind. So that's one thing that I'll, I will do like an initial self-care video, but as I'm filming it, if I feel like I want to do like a more in-depth version of like specifics you can do, um, that could be an option. Another thing is just like recognizing symptoms because for me, for sure, I feel like if you've like followed along all of my content, then you know that I've said that I've, you know, I went through depression for four years, but it's probably more accurate to say that it's been longer than that and that I only recognized it for the four years because I'm pretty sure I was probably depressed way longer than I even noticed just because when I realized it was already really bad. So there were probably signs of me being depressed a lot sooner than what I caught on to and I feel like it's important for us to like pay attention to our bodies and knowing like something seems off, something's not right. Even if maybe it's not a sign of depression, just like sometimes your body will let you know like you need a break, you need a moment and not paying attention to that sign is what can lead you into depression if it, it gets like out of hand. So I feel like that's really um, important and I feel like had I realized it sooner, I probably would not have been as bad or um, would not have been depressed as long, I guess. I don't know that for a fact, but I just assume so because I noticed it so late. So that's also like a you know video topic that I wanna do, like just paying attention to signs and things like that. I've also done other videos. I think I've done maybe one video where I was talking about, you know, setting boundaries, but I feel like I kind of just brushed over it. It wasn't its own video. And I feel like that is something that needs to be its own video because setting boundaries for your mental health, when I tell you it is crucial, like crucial for your mental health to have boundaries. And boundaries is something I never had growing up. I didn't have in my adult life. Like I just learned boundaries and I'm about to be 30 years old. So I feel like that is really late in the game, to be honest. Like I should have learned boundaries a lot sooner and I didn't. And I feel like that definitely contributed to you know, my mental health problems. So, one second, let me get um, this off my eye and then I'll be right back. Okay, we're back. Um, I went ahead and did my other eye because that was taking way too long. Um, and I'm just gonna go in with some lip gloss. This is my, um, this is my MAC lip gloss, just, clear old lip gloss and that's it for my face because I don't wear makeup but I like to have my eyebrows and lashes done to be honest guys I'm not sure how I'm feeling about these lashes they're in the mirror seeming to be a little bit too dramatic for me um so I did not seal them because I might take them off I don't know we're gonna wait until after I do my hair and see but anyways um i kind of don't remember where i left off i think we were talking about setting boundaries um but um if i think we we're talking about setting boundaries but boundaries are just so important to have and i feel like a full video of like how to set boundaries and what boundaries to set for your mental health because again having boundaries just period is important but 
the boundaries that you need to have to support your mental health are just a bit different so i think it's important to know like what those boundaries are and how you can set those boundaries because i at least for me it was always or it's still to be honest really hard for me to set boundaries just because i'm always worried about hurting other people's feelings and so i struggle to like set boundaries and let people know like hey this is not something i'm okay with or this is not something that i want to do or this doesn't make me feel good like whatever the boundary may be it's hard for me to do but i now understand the importance of doing it and because now i just know like everything that i do is mental health related every every move that i make every you know thought that i have everything is about mental health and i feel like i'm that way because of what my experience was going through depression that it just let me see how crucial you know everything is um and like shortcuts they're not they don't work they're not um they're not good at least for me they're not good like i can't halfway set a boundary or set a boundary and not follow through like you need to set your boundary and stick with it because if you don't not only are you hurting yourself you're hurting the other people around you and that's something that was really hard for me to wrap my head around because how is me not following through on my boundary hurting someone else but believe me it does and i will talk about that in the video for um for the new series but that's just a couple of topics that I wanted to, you know, go over. But there are so many things that I want to talk about within that series that, of course, they're all mental health related. But the difference is they are actionable steps that you can take to actively take care of your mental health. And they're not things that are just for people that are going through a depression they're for everybody and I think maybe I, I don't know to be honest but I just don't want people to feel like you know my content is only for people that are going through depression or only people that are struggling with their mental health my content is for everyone I just because everybody needs to take care of their mental health um but I do folk have been focusing a lot of my content on you know depression and anxiety but it's because that's what my personal experience is and this specific series is not really surrounded by my personal experiences per se um it is like developed from that because there are things that i've learned and understand now that i have to do but they're not um the series is not just me talking about my personal experiences so that's the difference because a lot of my other content has been like my personal experience with certain things so but i'm saying that to say i want people to know that my content is not just for someone struggling with their mental health it's not just for someone who is suffering from depression or who has anxiety because like I said everyone can benefit from taking care of their mental health and this series will go through you know the different phases that you can be in so whether you're not depressed but you know you feel like you're not in the best headspace you need to start doing things to take care of yourself mentally maybe you're just becoming depressed so you're trying to figure out how to not get too deep maybe you are deep in depression but you are um you know trying to figure out how to cope while you are depressed or you're coming out of it and you're kind of in that like limbo space what are you supposed to do and then when you're out of depression what does your life look like now and how can you use the things that you've been doing to implement into your new life essentially um after coming out of depression so i'm gonna cover like all of those stages as well as just 
simply take care of your mental health so you don't have to look depression in the face because it's not a fun experience. I wouldn't wish it on anyone. However, I do believe that me going through depression was probably one of the best things that could have happened to me because it taught me so much about myself. It taught me so much about the people that were in my life and just like around me. And I am honestly forever grateful for the experience just because I feel like I have grown so much since being depressed and I don't think that I would have been able to learn the things that I have and grow the way that I did had I not gone through that. So in a way, I guess you can say depression saved my life and you know God using me the way that he does. I'm just grateful. So um yeah, but I just want to make sure that everybody is taking care of their mental health and you're not thinking about it in a sense of, well, it's not something I have to worry about because I'm not depressed. I don't think I'll ever be depressed or, you know, anything like that. The point is to not be. And that's why my videos are for everyone. So that's just, you know, an introduction of what to expect with that series and I think I've settled on a name and I think I want to call it um, Depression Decoded because depression is a, a interesting thing to go through where there are really no real answers of what you're feeling, what you can do or shouldn't do and you know what you're experiencing it's all a learning curve like no two people experience it the same way and I feel like that's just a given the way that you know I went through depression you know the next person may not experience it that way maybe their situation is worse than mine maybe their situation isn't as bad as mine was like no two people I believe go through depression identically um i think that we can all identify with each other so i'm i felt like depression decoded was such a good name just because it's the first step of like actionably doing something about it and trying things and figuring out what works because everything does not work for everyone it's not one size fits all you know i have tried i want to say a lot of things and a lot of the things that i tried didn't work for me and that was super discouraging just because you know while i was depressed i was just wanting to not be anymore and i wanted to you know do whatever i could to not be in that space and so I was trying everything that I researched to try, heard about trying, was recommended to try, and a lot of the stuff didn't work. And it was discouraging because I felt like, what's wrong with me? Why are none of these things working? But they're working for other people. And, you know, if doctors are telling me, hey, this will work for you and it doesn't, like, I'm the problem. But I had to, you know, it took me a, a while, but finally understood that everything doesn't work for everyone and you have to find the things that work for you which is another reason I wanted to do this series because you know everything isn't for everybody but I still want to you know talk about and show like things that you can do even things that may not have worked for me they may work for you and I think it's important to, you know, address the things that you can do because maybe you don't know what to try. So that's why, again, I wanted to do this series and really just take a deep dive into 
everything that I could possibly think of, everything that I personally experienced or tried and like give you those, that kind of guide of like things that you can do. Just, uh oh, just based off of my personal experience, almost like I did the work so you don't have to in like doing the research and trying to figure it out. I'm giving you everything that I researched no matter if it worked for me or didn't work for me. For example, I tried a medication. I was on it for maybe a month and a half, maybe two months. It didn't work for me personally for me and made me feel a lot worse than what I was feeling. And I kind of was given the runaround about how long it was going to take to work and, you know, going through trying different medications and different, you know, dosage levels. And it was just for me too much. And I felt like it wasn't working. And maybe two months wasn't enough time for me to, you know, give it a try. But for me, I had to make the decision and say like, hey, I don't think we're going in the direction that I want to go in. So I don't want to take it anymore. I'm not going to take it anymore. I'm going to try something else. But I've heard a lot of people say that medication works for them. And I don't know why it didn't work for me. I don't know why, you know, I didn't have the best experience with medication. But I didn't. But that doesn't mean that it can't work for you. It doesn't mean that it can't work for the next person. So I would never tell anyone what to do. I'm not going to tell somebody don't take medication because it doesn't work. I will tell you I tried medication and it didn't work for me. But if you feel like that's a choice you want to make for yourself, if you think it could help, then try it and see. You know what happens? Maybe it works for you. Maybe it doesn't and you try something else. Either way, you have options the same as therapy you know in the beginning I thought therapy was just it wasn't gonna work it, it I tried it absolutely not I'm not doing it again and three therapists later I found a good therapist and it started to work although I'm not in therapy anymore but it worked for you know while I was doing it and then I got to a point where I felt like I'm kind of plateauing it's not helping anymore so I stopped therapy but they're all decisions that you have to make for yourself of what will work for you but the idea of this series is for you to know what your options are and to know one that you're not alone two everything doesn't work for everyone so you have to try things and figure out what works best for you and three most importantly how important it is to take care of your mental health that it's crucial to your way of life and I feel like that can really come across in a series. So that's why it's super, super important to me to, you know, put that kind of content out. So that's what you can expect in that series. It is coming very soon. And I'm very excited for it. Um, lastly, I just wanted to kind of like touch on what I am planning for the next two months because the year is over we are in november we've got two more months before the year is over and i feel like i've been saying all year that i will not go into 2024 the same person that i was this year or previous years i want to go into 2024 a brand new version of myself the best version of myself so i can live 2024 and on the life that I want, the life that I dream of, and it's possible. So I am spending the next two months to work really hard, be disciplined, work out all of my kinks of things that are not working, and really implement them into my daily life. So when 2024 comes around, I'm not still trying to figure it out. I am knowing what my morning routines look like I know what my evening routines look like I know what my daily schedules look like I know how I want my life to be and the way that I want to live already and I challenge you to do the same every year we all do the new year's resolution thing oh you know my new year resolution is this my new year resolution is that I have this whole list of things that I'm gonna tackle you know come January 1st I feel like we all do this. We get excited for the new year. January 1st comes and we're hitting the ground running. We're doing all the things that, you know, we said we're going to do. By the second week of January, we're starting to fall off. And the year 
keeps going on and on and then before we know it it's december again and we have accomplished little to nothing because we spent the entire year worried about things that we shouldn't have been worrying about and so this year i'm trying a new strategy using the end of the year to do my new year's resolution to implement my life the way that i want it to be so when i go into the new year I'm already doing those things I'm not waiting for January 1st I'm not putting it off until tomorrow because tomorrow never comes I'm doing it now and so I challenge you to do the same thing write down a list of goals that you want to accomplish next year write down a list of you know things that you want to do for yourself as far as mental health is concerned like what does your ideal mental health look like? How are you gonna take care of your mental health? Are you gonna go on daily walks? Are you gonna journal every day? Are you going to you know, get up and go outside and just have some fresh air? Sit on your front porch? Whatever that looks like for you, write it down. And I want you to start now. Practice it now. From the time you watch this video, practice it now and do it every single day. I promise you by the time January 1st comes, it will be a habit and you will already be living the life that you want. You will already be the person that you want to be because you're not waiting for January 1st. The year is basically over, but you still have 60 days to get it together. And so I am going to spend the last 60 days to get it together for me and I hope that you do the same thing. Don't wait until January 1st. Start now. Make a plan, implement it in your life every single day, and you will go into January the best version of yourself. So I am wishing you the best last two months of the year and that you go into January the person that you want to be because you deserve it, babe. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, hit that notification bell so you don't miss out on any videos.